Okay. Um, well, it's time uh, to start a class already. So uh, I guess the other ones are going to be connecting throughout the session probably. And uh, yes, in some places I know it's raining and probably some of your classmates won't have the access to connect to the session today. So as yesterday, we saw a little bit about the present perfect. And uh, I noticed that we're still having some issues when it comes to some verbs. So today we're going to try to have a practice about the verbs just to help you to, I mean, to get to know or to remember some of the verbs. So today we are going to continue with uh, the present perfect, but today is going to be more focused on how to make questions and some expressions that we have to understand or some expressions that we commonly use in the present perfect. Also today we are going to try to understand the differences between simple past and present perfect. Uh, because it's very important that we all understand how to uh, how to use them both, like because they are or the use of each one of them is completely different. So today we're going to know the differences between they both and the way we have to use them. As I said at the beginning, we will also focus on the verbs, because it's very important that you know uh, or that you remember the use of the verbs. So welcome to the ones just connected to the session. Welcome again. And uh, well, so we're gonna start with today's class, but first of all, I will ask you some questions regarding to some of the things that we saw yesterday. So um, can someone tell me which are the object pronouns? Oh, I mean the pronouns, the personal pronouns that we use with the present perfect auxiliary, auxiliary have. Which are the pronouns that we use with that auxiliary? Does anyone remember? which are the pronouns that we use with the auxiliary have? You, teacher. It's the, is that the only one, you? You, um, they. They. We. We, yeah, so are you with they uh, are, are the ones that we use with uh, the auxiliary have. Of course, with the auxiliary has, we're going to use a third person, which every one of you already know, which is the third person. Uh, yesterday, we also saw some situations in which we are going to use the present perfect. So when I was explaining about the present perfect, I remember I told you a little bit about uh, how to know or how we understand the present perfect. So when it comes to, to a timeline, how do you identify or how do you understand the present perfect in a timeline? Can someone tell me or does any one of you remember about it? It's an action, teacher. It's an action. That has started in the past. Mm -hmm. continue to the present and maybe maybe to the future to the future to the close future okay that's perfect yeah that's actually what uh, the way we use present perfect an action that we started in the past that we're still doing until now and that we will probably or maybe we will do it in the future because it's an action with an undefined uh, period of time. So we don't know when that action is going to stop. So today, as I was saying at the beginning, we are going to try to understand the differences between the present perfect and the simple past. Also, we are going to have a practice about the verbs in which, first of all, I am going to verify 
If you, of course, remember the verbs, and if not, that's why we call it practice, because we are going to try to uh, study the verbs or try to force you to memorize them as much as you can. So let's start with today's class. So here we have today present perfect and simple past. Of course, there are some things which are going to help us to identify the present perfect with the simple past. What is one of the differences or one of the clear differences that you remember between the present perfect and the simple past? Does any one of you have any idea about any of the differences or any difference that you could mention to me right now? Or when you listen to those tenses, what comes to your mind? Is there any difference that you know? Or how do you differentiate them? For the auxiliary teacher. For the auxiliary. What, for the what present is, perfect. For the present perfect. So when it comes to the simple past, is there any auxiliary that we use in the simple past? No, only the verb. We don't use any auxiliaries. Sorry, teacher. We don't use any auxiliaries in the, the simple past. Did. Because, sorry, sorry. So yeah, we can use did, but that one we are going to only use it when it comes to questions. But of course, uh, those are some of the most common differences that you probably know. So today we're going to go one by one to try to identify. This is just a reminder for you. We saw that yesterday, just a reminder for you to remember the personal pronouns that we are going to use with each one of the auxiliaries in present perfect. So we're going to move on fast to the next part. And here we have some timelines that are going to help us to understand the differences between present perfect and simple past. As you can see here, we have in the first timeline or in the first part, we have the simple past. So uh, it says that one event in the past, we know when it was. So it's like something happened. It's an action that we did and we stopped it and we finished it there. So there's obvious, obviously some expressions that are going to help us to understand or to know when we're talking about the simple past or past simple and obviously the present perfect. So according to this first part, we have the past, an action that we did here in the past, we have the today and we have the future. So we have an example right here that it says, yesterday I went to the shop. What is the expression that you can identify there in the first example? Is there an expression that gives you the idea that we're talking about the past? Let's suppose that you didn't know this part or that you didn't know that we, we were talking about the past. So how would you identify in the first example, an expression, or is there an expression that gives you an idea about the past? Well. Went, okay, you say went. Went is obviously the past form of the verb. Which verb? Go. Verb go. go. Okay, yes, the verb go. But one, one expression that obviously you will understand automatically that we're talking about the past is, is going to be, of course, the verb, because the verb is going to be in past. But also, there's this expression that says yesterday. Yesterday, when we say that expression, of course, is something that already happened, that we already did. So let's see another one. We have, I played 
the piano when I was a child. We have that one. Is there any phrase, any expression, or something that gives you the idea of the past in number two? When I was teacher. When I was, when I was a, child. a child. Of course, when I was a child. Why? Because you were a child in the past and you will no longer go back to that time. I mean, you are growing up, growing up, growing up. So you will never be a child again. Unless there's a magical situation going on there, probably you will go back to, to the past. But of course, you, I mean, it has never happened. I mean, nobody has become a child or has go, gone back to the past, like to, to be a child again. So that expression or that phrase, of course, is giving us the idea of the past. So um, here we have the president was shot last year. Is there something that give you an idea about the past there in the number three? Last year. Last year. Of course, that's that's the one that is giving us the idea. Last year. Because it's something that you already did that or that or something that already happened. So it's something that will never happen again. Or if it happens again, it will be with a different person. So now let's move on to the part of the present perfect. In the present perfect, we have two situations. In these two situations, we can have, like, we're going to go with the first one, with this one. It says that one event in the past, we don't know or we don't care when it was. Something that happened what, that we really never pay attention to that. We didn't pay attention to that. It's just something that happened and you didn't care about it. So that's the first part. But of course, it is an action that will probably still be in the present. And because you didn't care about it or you didn't pay attention about it, you don't know, but in the, in the present will still be available or in the future will still happen. So we don't know. Because remember the present perfect is something that uh, it's undefined time. So we have the example. I have been to the shop. I have been to the shop. Of course, uh, like for example, we can put this example like every single day we have to eat, right? Every day we have to eat three times a day. So we can say, I have been to the shop and when we say that is because it is an action that we do or that we do repetitively. So it happens every single day, so we don't care. So it's an action that of course we did in the past because we did it some hours ago. We will probably do it tomorrow. We will do, probably do it the next or the day, the day before. But those are actions that we do not care. When we say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was, oh. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, so, um, so as I was saying, so those are actions or things that we never pay attention to those. So that's the reason why in that situation we can use the present perfect. And, and part number three. In part number three, we are going to use the present perfect as the way I explained it to you yesterday. So yesterday I told you the event started in the past and still true today. So that's the most common one because this one, as it says there, we never pay attention to that. So when we try to use the present perfect, it just come out automatically of our, I mean, while we are speaking, it's just come out automatically. So the one that we have to pay attention is the last one, which 
or because uh, I mean it's it's an action or things that we already did in the past or events that started in the past already, but are still true. So we just have some examples right here. I have played the piano since 1992. So when we say that, what's the idea that you understand? Or what, what's the idea, the idea that gives you this phrase or this sentence when you listen to it? If someone tells you, I have played the piano since 1992. What's the idea that that sentence gives you? Can someone tell me? He tocado el piano desde la fecha que está ahí. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's that's what it says. But what's the idea? Is the idea telling you that this person already finished the action? No. Continue. No, continue. So it, it says that it I, can be. It can be not sure because if he, I mean, it's it's an action that this person has been doing throughout the years. I mean, she started that action, or he or she started that action in 1992, but probably in 1993, mm -hmm. was still playing. Then 1994, 1995, and so on and so on and so on. This person was still playing the piano. And probably now in 20, 2022, this person will probably be still playing the piano. So we don't know. As we can see, there's a lot of years throughout that context. Mm -hmm. as, as far as we know, the present perfect, it doesn't have a defined time. So that's why it's very important that we understand. And sometimes it might be confusing with the simple past, but something very important that we do, that we have to keep in mind is that simple past is just an action that happened one time that you did it in the past, that you finished the action there and that you will never do it again. And if, Probably not never, but you will repeat that action again with difference with differ uh, with a lot of differences. It's not going to be the same the same action. And if you do the same action, it's going to be like in a different period of time. It's not an action that you are repeating every single day. It's just that you didn't, and you will probably uh, are going to do it like two days later, a month later, a year later, two years later, and so on and so on and so on. So with the information that we just saw or the information that I just said, do you have any questions so far? Not the chat. No. Okay, great. Yeah. So let's 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 move on. So um here we have, as it says here, keywords. Those keywords are going to be so helpful for you to identify the present perfect versus the past simple or simple past. Once again, we have brief or small definitions about the tenses. Uh, present perfect, as we know, action that started in the past and still influenced the present or recent actions. We have some keywords or those small words or those words that we have here that are going to help us identify if we are referring to present perfect or simple past. So which are they? Here we have ever that we saw yesterday that ever is commonly used in what? In questions, right? So ever, never, since, for, just, jet, already, recently, lately, this week, this month, this year, etc. So those keywords or those words are going to help you identify in a paragraph or when you when, while you're talking or if you're talking with someone in English, you will know or you will understand if this person is talking to you in present perfect or simple past. Of course, 
when we are talking with someone, words come come out automatically. I mean, we are never thinking about the tense. When you speak with someone in English, you are never thinking like, oh, now I have to use simple past. Now I have to use present perfect. That, that never happens, never. We just speak automatically. We just speak like, like the fluency comes automatically, naturally, and words come out naturally. So we never think about the tenses. But of course, if you have an exam or if you have an evaluation or something like that, those keywords are going to be very, very helpful for you so you can identify them, okay? So the simple past, as it says here, again, action that started and finished in the past. So some of the keywords that we have are yesterday, last Saturday, last week, last month, last year, etc. And we also have the expression ago. And when I was, of course, in some years. Why those years? Because as it says between parentheses, those are past dates. So automatically when we see a year that the or a year which which we are not in, of course, we already know that we're talking about the past. Because if I say 2021, 2021 already passed. So we know that if we talk something about 2021 and we just refer an action that just happened one time or an action that we just did one time and we never repeat again because it finished. So of course, we know we're going to be talking about the simple past. Uh, so any question, guys? Are, is everyone understanding? Or am I, am I talking too fast? For me, yes. Okay. Cool. So, I'm ready. We are learning. Yeah, of course. Of course. So well, what about the other ones? I mean, are you, are you guys understanding or am I talking too fast? Because I know that when I got inspired, I tend to speak too fast. So sometimes see some of you I probably not understand what I'm saying. But if there's no other inconvenience, so we're going to move on. As I told you at the beginning today, we are going to have a practice. This practice, I will force you to study the verbs. Why? Because I know that probably some of you work every single day and you have no time to study at home. And of course, while you are working, you never pay attention or you never check uh, or you don't remember what you saw or you, you don't study what you saw in the previous class. So that's why today we're going to have a practice about the verbs. And of course, we call it practice because you can make mistakes and those mistakes are going to help you to understand and in the future, you will not make the same mistakes because mistakes help you to, uh, to learn and to understand how to use some things. So here we have uh, a list of some verbs in which uh, I will just make the pronunciation of some of them. And then I will need some of you to help me making the pronunciation too. Why? Because the activity that we are going to do is going to be about those. And of course, the regular and irregular verbs. What or how am I going to do it? I'm going to tell you a verb. We're going to do 10 verbs. The first three verbs, I'm going to tell you the, um, the meaning, like in Spanish, I will say the verb in Spanish, and now we'll see if you can identify which verb I'm talking about. Then another three verbs, what we are going to do is that I'm going to tell you the infinitive, and then you will have to tell me the past form. Then the last four verbs, what we are going to do is that I am going to give you the past participle form, and you will have to write the simple past. 
Is it understandable what I said? You understood the instructions? Si entendieron las indicaciones. So, so, teacher. I believe need more, more less your explanation, explaining, explaining. <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you for, for letting me know, Fatima. So what about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? If you are not saying anything, si no dicen nada, yo asumo que todos entendieron las instrucciones. Repite, chef, please. Sonia. Uh -huh. eh, no logré entender muy bien porque está lloviendo demasiado fuerte y casi no le escucho. Uh, okay, so um, I mean, I understand here it's raining too, probably it's raining in the whole country. And I know it's very difficult when it's raining because I mean, we have a lot of interference. And some of us have uh, a lot of noises and I mean, it's completely understandable. So what I was saying is that we are going to have a practice. Vamos a tener una práctica. And in this practice, los primeros tres verbos, yo les voy a decir su significado en español. Y ustedes van a tener que escribir the past form, la forma pasada. Luego vamos a hacer another three verbs, otros tres verbos, en los cuales yo... Les voy a dar el infinitivo, es decir, el presente. Y ustedes van a tener que escribir el pasado. En los últimos cuatro verbos, porque van a ser diez verbos en total. So, in the last four verbs, yo les voy a decir el pasado participio y ustedes van a tener que escribir el pasado. ¿Sí? Necesito que todos entiendan porque esta práctica la vamos a hacer now, ahorita. So, is it clear? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Perfect. So, I will need you or I will request you to have a pen or pencil or a piece of paper with you. Because you are going or you will have to send me a picture through the WhatsApp group to have evidence that you worked or that you did what I said. Okay, that will be evidence for me to have like a backup. Okay, so when you send the picture, I will also request you to write your name below. See, que escriba su nombre abajo so I have an idea of who that photo belongs to. Because sometimes it's very difficult for me to understand who is who, because you never write your name. So if you are sending a picture in the WhatsApp group, please write or put your name below this, the, the photo or the screenshot so I know who is or who that picture belongs to, okay? So uh, the first part that we're going to do right now is just uh, reading these birds. And uh, as, well, Sonia said, Vilma. So I will ask you, Vilma, to help me reading the first three birds. Make the pronunciation of the infinitive, past, and past participle. Three, please. Okay. Draw, draw, mm -hmm. draw. Thank you. Dream. Uh -huh. Dreamed. Dream. Dreamed. Dreamed. Okay. Drink. Uh -huh. Drunk. Drunk. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see who else. Patricia, help me with another three birds. Patricia Rodriguez. Dry. Draw. Driving. Okay. Eat. Eating. Mm -hmm. Fall, fell, fallen. Thank you very much. Okay. Now let's go with. Thank you. That's that's it. Okay. Now Juan Cruz. Let's go with another three. Juan. 
One. Feel, feel, feel. Feel, feel, feel. Five, four, four. Okay, this one, remember that we do not pronounce four. the U. We just say fuck. Okay, thank four. you. Rosemary. Find, found, found. Flip, flip, flip. This one is not flip, this is flat. Flat. Mm -hmm. um, light, mm -hmm. flat, flow. Flow. Fly, flew, flown. Fly, flew, flow. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one, uh, let me see Nancy. Nancy Maldonado. Let's go with the last three. Forbid, forbid, forbidden. Okay. Forecast, forecast, forecast. Okay. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Thank you very much. Now, is everyone ready? Si estamos todos listos for the practice. I need a confirmation, please. So uh, if not, I'm just going to start saying things. No. no. You're, you're who said no? <laughs> okay. So let's... Let me see. So let's start es with que, this part. Es que como que estoy un poquito perdida. ¿Me podría repetir las indicaciones, teacher, por favor? The instructions are that we are going to have a practice. Vamos a tener una práctica ahorita. En which van a ser 10 verbos. Primeros tres verbos. Yo les voy a decir el significado en español. Es decir, como ejemplo, yo les digo jugar. Necesito que ustedes ese verbo me lo vayan a escribir en pasado. La práctica ahorita es pasado. Ese es un ejemplo. El verbo no cuenta ahorita, ¿ok? Los otros tres verbos van a ser de la siguiente manera. Yo les voy a decir el infinitivo o el tiempo presente. Y ustedes van a tener que poner el pasado. Los últimos cuatro verbos. Yo les voy a decir el pasado participio. Ustedes van a tener que escribir el pasado. <risa> es <risa> práctica. Just practice. ¿Ok? Si se equivoca. Ok. Por eso le llamamos practice. Porque esta práctica es para equivocarnos. ¿Sí? Y para demostrarle a usted en qué verbos tiene que ensayar. Cuáles verbos tiene que ir a practicar. No, so it's o sea, una autoevaluación también para ustedes. Okay. So, solo, solo que, mm -hmm. solo que eh, acá también tengo el problema con la lluvia, incluso hasta con los audífonos. Estoy un poquito que me cuesta escuchar. Si lo dice un poquito clarito. Ok, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is that. I am going Aquí también, teacher. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Un tormentón, es rayo, no deja de escuchar <laughs> nada. Yeah, horrible aquí esta tormenta, teacher. Yeah, que Ay, estamos, se nos tiene el arca de Noé. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Okay. I know. So, so what I'm going to do, lo que vamos a hacer es que voy a repetir los verbos o tres veces la primera vez rápido la segunda velocidad media y la tercera despacio so you have three chances tres oportunidades para poder take your notes ok mejor, mejor la última teacher <laughs> no de, no the three of them ok Okay, so uh, we're going to start. Sí, espero que todos estén listos with pen and pencil. And lapis y lapicero. So we start. Empezamos. So, the first verb, el primer verbo, is going to be. Let me see. Just give me a moment. 
Um, let me see. Cocinar. 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 That's the first one. It's el primero. So remember what, that I just want past. Solo pasados, okay? So verb number two. Máximo, you're giving, le estás dando las respuestas a tus compañeros. This is... Máximo, eres mi máximo. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, now, verb number two. Verbo número dos. Let me see. Beber. 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 <coughs> so, verb number three. Tercer verb. Verb number three. Responder. 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 Responder, dijo que. Yes. So we have, ya tenemos la primera parte, three verbs. We have the first part already. So to part number two. Nos movemos a parte número dos. Now, two, en parte número dos, le voy a decir el verbo en presente. ¿Sí? In present, so you will have, you will have to write, van a tener que el pasado, ¿sí? Collect, collect, collect. Si no entiende, it's fine, okay? Por eso es práctica. That's why it's practice. Máximo le sigue ayudando a todos, vea, Máximo, don't do that. Because you're helping your, the other ones. So, on to another one. Eat. 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 Teacher. Yes. This part is past participle. No, all of them are going to be simple past. All similar the first. Yes, yeah, similar to the first one. Past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the last verb. Let's go with the last. Change. 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 Okay, so we finish part number three. Part number two, I'm sorry. Parte numero dos. Let's go to part number three. Vamos a parte número. So what are we going to do now? Ahora les voy a decir el verbo en pasado. Y usted lo tiene que escribir en pasado. Okay, that's what we're doing. So let's move on. Reported. 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 Uh, 
Ok. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Uh, let me see. Forgotten. 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 Okay, let's go with the next one. Now, we have asked, asked, asked. Okay, y el último, the last one, is going to be, let me see. Fallen, fallen, fallen. Okay, we just have one minute left. Un minuto más, por si necesita ahí to do something. And then we move on. All right, so what I need you to do right now is to take a picture of what you did, screenshot or whatever, and send it to the WhatsApp group. Remember to put your name below the picture, okay? So we are 13 here on the call. So I'm expecting to receive 13 pictures. I'm expecting to receive those, okay? So I already got the first ones. Let me check. Yes, I got the first ones already. Patricia, it says, okay. All right, so I will be waiting for the other ones, like right now, okay. Great, thank you very much. We have one, two, three. Just have three people right now. I just have Patricia. Nancy and Araceli. Sonia Araceli. Mm -hmm. And I also have Elizabeth. Okay. I already have Rosemary too. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have Fatima Guardado too. Todavía me hace falta la mitad. I still have the half. So I got already Claudia. Okay. What about the others? I'm still missing some of them. Let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still have the half. Todavía me faltan seis. Si usted lo envía hasta después de la clase, no le va a valer. ¿Por qué? Porque eso significa que se quedó durante todo este tiempo haciéndolo. Ok. So. Um, ok, so we are going to move on to the practice right now. Because we didn't finish that part. So we're going to still have to move on to that. And that's what we're going to see right now. So, si no lo envió ahorita, ya no le va a contar, ¿ok? Because... Ok, so here we have the part for the questions, la parte de las preguntas. So, ok, as we remember yesterday, we saw yesterday how to make some questions, cómo hacer las preguntas. And uh, 
I remember also that one of your classmates asked me a question about if we, we always have to use ever or if we can omit ever. So I remember I told him that we can omit it because that will be up to you, okay? Uh, let me see. Remember that this is kind of the formula, the formula that we need to follow in order for you to create a question in present perfect. So it is the auxiliary, it is the subject, and then the verb in past participle. Of course, we have a complement over here. That's why we have three dots. One, two, three, and the question mark at the end. Okay, so we can also saw, use some expressions as the one that we saw previously, like ever. So I can say, have you ever lived in London or something like that? And I can say, no, I have never lived in London. Or I can say, yes, I have lived in London. So those are just the answers that we can give to those questions. Now, is there any questions so far? Or are we clear in that? If there's no questions, okay. If there's no questions, we are going to move on to this practice. So I need you to take a screenshot of this. So we are going to be working on this. What you will have to do there is identify whether to use simple past or to use present perfect, okay? So let's, let's go to with this practice. Let me know when, you, when you're done so I can move to the next part. Okay, so this is part number two. And part number three. In all of them, what we are going to do is to identify whether it is present perfect or simple past. That's all we are going to do in the three of them. Okay, so you will have to try to notice if you are or, or if you have to use present perfect or simple past. That's where we're going. Teacher, puede poner las imágenes de nuevo, please. All, all of them? Dos? Sí, las imágenes. Okay. Las dos primeras. Okay, let me just share the screen. So let me see that this is the last one. La so anterior. this one, this is the sí. first one. Sí, ya. Yeah. And this is number two. Okay. Great. So let's go yes. to the breaker rooms and remember to try to speak in English as much as you can. Okay. So let me see. We're going to move this person here. We're going to move this person here and this person here and this person here. Okay. So let's go to your groups and I will be checking all of them, okay? Try to speak in English.
Claudia, Sonia. Uh, yes, for me, simple past. The... Simple, simple past, the number one? Yes, yes. Okay. We went to the restaurant when? last night. Is correct, personally? Yes, yes. Okay, number two. The simple pass. Simple pass. Remember, simple pass. No, it's not. Oh, simple pass, simple. Yes. Sister, entonces quedaría, perdón, en la segunda? Has, has. 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 My grandfather. Great grandfather ha, has, has has five sister high pass five sister. Yes, number three. In the second, mm -hmm. only had in the past. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, my great great grandfather has five sister. Mm, no. no. Pay attention there. Something missing there. You are using the auxiliary, but the have two five have to five sister has had has, has had mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay, teacher. Mm. Gracias. Diana. Okay, pero, pero que I have never... pasado, simple. El simple pasado. Never es así normal. O hay que... Never es para present perfect. Ajá, I have never. Tenemos que ponerle ed, creo. No. Mm -mm. No. Ah, Arnoldo. Hay que estudiar los verbos, Arnoldo. Ahorita estamos <ríe> con el aquí. Ajá. <ríe> Ya los estoy viendo. I have never. ¿Cuál es el past participle de go? When. No, es el. Gone. gone. So I have never gone. To Vienna. To Vienna, okay. That's. ¿Cómo fue? I have never. Gone to Vienna. And the My great, great grandfather. Have five sisters? No. Have. Have is the verb. Yeah, have is the has have five sister. Uh huh. Has has have has five sister. Pay attention to the context so you don't get confused. My. Sí, estoy más confundida que saber qué es la verdad. The context is going to give you the answer. Si yo digo que mi bisabuelo o mi tatarabuelo, yo digo que tuvo o ha tenido. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí está yes. la respuesta. You see? Yes, thank you. Rosemary, porque la cara de perdida, Rosemary. Estoy pensando. Ok. Hacen like. The people? Hacen like. Claudia, Sonia. Have like. Simple pass. 
Well, okay, number A. Ami lived in, uh, has lived, no, in Portugal when she was young. Has. Amy? Has lived. Teacher, Amy has lived or only lived? No, in that case, it's has lived because you have to live. Okay, you're Thank saying you. that she since she was young, so she still lived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was okay, has lived. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Uh, he perdido. I lost. 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 Yes. Lost. L O S. Uh -huh. L O S T. Lost. Mm -hmm. And I have lost my wallet. Um, how you? Mm -hmm. How you saw? Julie today. Se estudió Julia hoy dice. ¿Eh? Julie. <laughs> July. Julie es. Julie today. So. Sería are are you saw Julie today? Mm -hmm. I just saw you today. So, so. Are you sure? Are you sure, guys? Because if we say Bistia Julia hoy. Viste a Julia hoy tiene sentido en español. Viste a Julia hoy. But in English, no, porque estamos usando hoy. So, in that case, it will be, ¿Has visto a Julia hoy? How you saw. How no. you saw. ¿Cuál es el, el participio del verbo sí? Si? Es sin. Sí. Si. Is no so, porque es Ay. the past. <laughs> Okay, so I was checking, uh, verifying some of you there, and I'm pretty sure that you didn't complete the exercises. I'm pretty sure. I saw that some of you are struggling with the past participle. Some of you are struggling with the past because sometimes it's difficult to understand when we have to use present perfect and when we have to use simple past. So one of the keys are the keywords that we saw and also the context that is going to help us. 
but I saw a lot of you having some troubles there. So my suggestion for you is to try to study the verbs. Try to study the verbs as much as you can, okay? So, well, that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class today, even though it's raining in some of your houses or the places where you live. Okay. I appreciate the fact that you are here, even though it's raining and you're having a lot of interferences there. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for attending to the class, and I hope you have a good night, okay? Okay, good night. Thank you, Tisha. Bye. 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 Bye.